All right, so I cannot remember if I said I was going to make more Shamisen related videos, but just in case I did say that, um, here's the, the project that's still coming along. I'm still kind of working things out. Basically, the main thing is all together. I've been like playing around with it, as you can see here. The tuning pegs have the strings still, you know, they're still kind of attached. And uh, I have this kind of makeshift nail that I made and uh, I have a some other things like over here I have a couple of of bocce's and then I have underneath here there's a there's a bridge some extra strings um, one bocce I got from some friends in Japan they went to Japan and they got me this one I like it a lot because it's a it was an, an omiyage from them that's how you say the word. Um, and also, this one I got from the Chords Canada website. So, it came, you know, I, I also got from the website. I also ordered a, I also ordered some strings and um, you know, extra sets of strings. And then under here is where I keep my, the coma, the, um, the bridge is inside of here, so whenever I set up the shamisen, I just kind of put the coma on and the, the strings with the tuning pegs and everything. Um, yeah, everything kind of fits nicely. It's uh, it's all put together pretty much, but I'm still kind of playing around with the look of it. Last night, I kind of tried to sand off most of the glue. I don't think I did a very good job. Um, but I've been using some new sanding things I just bought. Here's one of them. Here's some extras. So these are called Sandblaster 3M. It's by the same company that makes like that sticky kind of tape, right? The, the tape that you use, just, you know, normal clear tape. Um, so there's a picture of the, of these, it's like a padded kind of, uh, sandpaper. It's not very, a very fine grit, it's kind of, this one's kind of more, um, I don't know what you call it. Um, it's not very fine, it's not, it's not like in the thousands or anything, it's still like maybe 400 or something, I don't know. But... The one I was using was this one. This is a different one. It comes with this little handle with the... It already comes with one piece of sandpaper on it. And as you can see, the sandpaper isn't really just plain sandpaper. It's just... It's got a little bit of padding there. So if I wanted to take this off and I wanted to just use my hands, it's kind of it's nice too. Alright, some other things that I went and kind of purchased. These are all from Osh. Pretty good prices. Cheap stuff. Um, kind of a little blade here. It comes with some extra blades. I think it comes with two or three. I think there's still another extra one in here. I got a another file. Um, and this is all basically in the whole thinking that I, I need to... Um, you know, strip off some of the glue, that's an important thing, and, you know, sand off, and kind of like, I'm trying to get rid of the glue, basically, I used Gorilla Glue, um, on here a while back, too, there was rice glue, rice glue, and I kind of used Gorilla Glue along the sides, so, um, there's some, I think what happened is the glue kind of ate away at the wood a bit, and uh, it was kind of hard to get it off. It's kind of hard to sand it down. Before, I was using a power sander. I don't have that anymore. So, you know, it, it was a friend's, actually. It wasn't mine. It's not like I got rid of it or something. But, yeah, so this is how we're looking so far. I got, I got a lot of wood stain on the, uh, <laughs> on the on the skin of the dough so I'm gonna try and use some kind of paint thinner or something to 
to get that off. I'm not sure how that's going to work out. Maybe, you know, I probably, maybe I can just leave it there. I'm not too sure. Um, but then we have the, the sowl and the head of that. So it kind of looks like it's painted, I know, because, like, this isn't, like, super glossy. But that's about the color that the wood was. I'm not really worried about that because it's not really visible. This is this lighter part here, the original part is inside of the dough. So nobody's really going to be looking at it. I'm not going to have to see it, so I don't really think I really care how it looks. Um I might still shape this up a bit cuz it's still it's just square and it fits right, but I think I want it like a little rounder on um yeah, I think I want this part right here to be just a little rounded so that <clears throat> so that it fits like the curve of the dough a little bit. And but you know, for now it's still it's still fine. Like it plays. I've been I've been plucking around on it, you know, it's kinda fun. It's a it's a good sound. I like that it sounds different because I'm more of a guitar player, so I like having different sounds. I'm looking forward to incorporating these new sounds into some of my little original music recordings. So I'm kind of excited that, you know, the instrument works. I'm not like a professional shamisen player or anything, so I'm not so sure so much about how it's supposed to sound. I've only heard them once live at, at the Torrance um, Cultural Japanese Festival. It was maybe about a year ago. And um, I think I posted some shamisen videos about that. But I guess, um, basically all this being said, you know, I've been using this for a while. Just last night I was like, let me kind of like change the look of this thing a little bit because it's looking kind of rough, you know. The good thing is I can still kind of play around with it because, you know, if worse comes to worse, I can just, you know, paint it or make another one or something. Um... Some other little things that I got at Osh, you know, just some general work gloves. These are kind of nice. They have a little bit of grip on them. They're kind of, you know, they're easy to take on and off. They're not, like, too stiff or anything, so it's kind of nice. Um, and I guess the next step um, that I'm thinking of, you know, I, I got this varnish. I know it's for, like, big projects like doors and things like that, but, you know, I figure... Might as well get a lot of it. So this is a gloss var varnish. Um, it's a can spray. So I'm going to put, I haven't opened it yet, but I'm going to spray the wooden parts with that. And uh, hopefully, hopefully it'll look like it has a glossy finish. I'm not sure. I might still sand this a bit. The wood was just stained last night, so... They say they wait maybe four or five hours. I've waited quite a while, so I think it's ready to be, you know, I can still use it now. So I think it's all right. But yeah, just wanted to make that video just because, um, you know, I haven't, I've been slacking on my video making and I've been doing a lot of little weird projects still. So I wanted to make sure I incorporated some of my more recent projects into my video or more videos for YouTube because I know some people are watching them and I don't want people to think I forgot or that I stopped or that I quit that's not the thing I didn't quit or stop I just stopped making videos <laughs> so um but yeah I'm still doing all the little projects and just having a good time with those when I'm not working or when I'm not looking for more steady work you know which is the issue right now so alright well I always appreciate watching you guys who watch the videos. And, uh, sorry, I have a bit of a cold I'm getting over, so my voice is kind of like raspy. I sound like I just woke up or something. <laughs> like, But no, <clears throat> getting over a cold. Uh, so yeah, alright, thanks for watching.